what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Anyone who's ever studied Bill O'Reilly only need five seconds to realize that he is indeed a royal asshole. In fact, the world would be a much better place had he ended up on his mama's back instead of inside of her uterus. This clown was accused of multiple sexual assaults. He settled for $45 million, 32 million of which went to one of his former colleagues at Far News. Recently, Huffington Post reported that he went on Sean Hannity's radio show and he fixed his stank mouth to say that most of the people who have died of COVID-19 were on their last leg anyway. When Sean Hannity, another asshole, said, you know, you're gonna get hammered for this, he said, I don't care. A simple man tells the truth. You know, Bill O'Reilly spent many years at Fox News using divisive rhetoric, always playing the race card. The dude is a lot like Trump, but he's from a journalistic standpoint. He's one of the worst and the world got a break when he got fired. He was gone for a while, but, you know, just like a common rodent, he's back. And he's making these type of inflammatory statements. This is what he'd do. Uh, he don't know any better. This is who he is. And you know, when he made those statements, he was talking about black people. At this point, over 89,000 people worldwide has lost their lives to COVID-19. Over 15,000 died in America. Half of that number is black people. That's a cold number, baby. That's cold, family. We gotta, we gotta, man, we gotta watch it. We are vulnerable because Black people tend to have pre-existing conditions like hypertension, diabetes, and high blood pressure. This makes our immune systems weaker and makes it harder for us to fight off COVID-19. So this is why black people are dying at a higher rate, a much higher rate. This is why we talk all the time about eating clean. You know, it ain't, it ain't realistic to do it every single day. But we can do better. We can do a whole lot better. Just because our grandparents ate a certain way or our mothers and fathers did it, doesn't mean we have to do it. You know, each generation is supposed to get better. We don't really have a choice if we wanna survive. It don't make sense for people to be dropping dead at 40 years old, 50 years old, even 60 years old, because they have these debilitating diseases and illnesses that are self-inflicted, mostly. We gotta do better, family. But back to this sucker, Bill O'Reilly, I know you hear me, sucker. I know somebody watching this video knows somebody who know you. And if they have a heart, they should let you know that I said, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about?